Hey guys, it's Heather, and I'm here to do a huge ColourPop haul. Um, I'm going to try to do swatches as I go. I have lippy sticks, a few lippy pencils, the um, eyeshadows, and then I also picked up a few blushes. So, I don't even know where to begin. Let's start with the blushes since I have the fewest of those. So this first one is called Homey, and this is a matte. It's a really pretty bright pink color. Looks like fuchsia almost. So let me go ahead and swatch that. Whoa. So that is Homey. And they have the same feeling as the eyeshadows, which is that like spongy, creamy, wet type of thing. And I mean, I can't even get this off my fingers. The next color is Birthday Suit. And the reason why I purchased this was because I heard that it was very similar to Max Blush Baby, which I've wanted forever. I'm going to try not to cross like swatch, like my fingers already have stains on them from messing around earlier. Hopefully you can see that. It looks pretty light, but I mean it's a really pretty plummy pink color, maybe a dusty pink. Next is Bonus. Let me open it. In. So that's Bonus. And the reason why I purchased this one was because it looked very similar to Max um, Peaches, which is my favorite. And that's like a pretty orangey peach color. And then the last blush I got is actually kind of like a bronzer. It's called Swift. And the reason why I purchased this is that I found that the Bandit eyeshadow, which I'll show you, is the one that I use the most, and it's a warm brown. And I actually purchased this to use as an eyeshadow, which today it's kind of hard to see, but I blended it in with a few, like three other colors. Um, and I also put it under my lash line. So you can use this as a bronzer or to contour, but I'm going to use it mainly as an eyeshadow. So that's it right there. All right, let's get in these eyeshadows. And I'll move pretty quickly because I have a lot of them. Hopefully, I mean, my fingers are stained already. <laughs> They're really pigmented. Um, the next color is Dare. And this is a really pretty, pretty bright, like it's like a purple, but it's definitely cool. And it has some, looks like more of a blue purple shimmer in there. That's it right there. Now this one, I wouldn't use the word sheer. Um, it's not, like I, I wiped it twice because it's not as bold as the blushes just were, but you can see this finger. It's really pretty. Kind of has like a pearlescent um, finish to it. Then this next color is called Fantasy. And this also is a purple color, but it leans more pink, especially when swatched. Whoa, that's way more vibrant. I'm not good at swatching. There we go. Okay, so that's showing lower. So I'm going to start swatching a little bit higher as my arm, as I go down my arm. Okay, next is, I'm excited about this one. This one's Ibiza. This is a really pretty turquoise, turquoise like teal color. That still didn't work. Do I know what I'm doing? No. I literally have to swatch like up here on my arm because I'm like double jointed. Like my arms twist weird. I can't go in a straight line. Like if I hold it like that, you can see it. That's really pretty. And I know there's tons of these videos and I really wanted to see what the hype was. And you know, I purchased now four different orders. And obviously, I was obsessed <laughs> the first time I got, I think I ordered like four or five the first time. And they're just so awesome. What I really like is that you do not have to use a primer. They actually work better without a primer. Um, they just are really bold. They dry down to, it's a cream, but it dries to like a powder and it does not crease. 
and I live in Florida so that says something this is the bandit color that I was telling you about it's a really really pretty warm brown my favorite color by Mac is brown script and it's a very similar color it's just really nice in in the crease so now that um, I don't know what I'm doing here let me go ahead and try to do it that way so you guys can see so pretty like literally that's not even on the under part of my arm that's like <laughs> my arm's so weird okay another um, color that's very similar is drift now this one online looked like it had a red cranberry tint to it I do see some cranberry in there but in real life it looks more like maroon almost brownish purple and I actually prefer it in real life anyways because I wanted something for my lower lash line something similar to Makeup Geek's Bitten that's really pretty so see it still has that really warm color but it's got some red to it I'm sorry I keep looking over here because my viewfinder is actually attached to a television set and it's over there so just to make sure I'm showing you guys what I'm supposed to be I just keep looking over there just don't mind me the next color is Game Face I've yet to swatch this this is a really really pretty shimmery bronze color and I've seen quite a few looks with it on the lid and it is gorgeous Ugh, that's so pretty that would be really good with like purple or like a dark brown in the crease I think I need to start on the next arm especially since these fingers are stained so the next color is mittens this one is also very very popular it's a still a warm brown but it's um, deeper than bandit is and I notice I think this one like detached from the pot there you go so it actually sometimes falls out but you can't really depot them anyways like it did depot itself but to keep these from drying out you have to keep them in these containers and close it pretty well um, next is adios this one is a I would define it's definitely brown but it has like a gray topish hint to it and this is from the rebound collection which is from I think Valentine's Day that's really pretty and I picked up um, if I can show you the next color I think it might go good with that since it's a gray color I don't know what I'm trying to do I have too many colors I can't even find it oh here it is <laughs> okay this one's called girl crush this is it almost leans a little purple but it's definitely a gray like a topish gray I think since the other color I just showed you is like a brown gray those two would be pretty together that's a lot lighter so you might even be able to put that on the lid or the inner crease like inner crease and then just you the entire crease and then just use um, this one to darken the outer V that would be really pretty Ooh, this one's one of my favorites this next one you could tell I like warm colors Ugh, this is another one that depotted itself um, this one's called Hustle. It's a nice purple, burgundy, brown color. You can see that. It's really pretty. Now I understand these girls' uh, uh, problem with swatching stuff. It's definitely, um, I wouldn't say it's difficult, but it's definitely a little bit different trying to make sure it lines up on your arm because your arm twists a little bit as you swatch. So this next one is Desert. I really like this. I've been wearing it on the lid. I was putting it in the crease at first but I wear it on the lid and then I put like Bandit or something in the crease. I'm really like since I got these I've been using almost all ColourPop shadows just every day because it's really nice. It's less of a step as far as putting a primer on and then they blend really well so it's just like bam and then you're done and it's really cool because um you know they last all day I'm really thinking that they would be great for the beach like not like you wear a lot of makeup at the beach but just like pop a color on your lid that'd be pretty this one right here is really popular this one's called on the rocks it's a brown color and it has some shimmer in it looks like it has a little bit of purple shimmer in it So hopefully you can see that 
It looks similar. Where's Game Face? No, it doesn't. Game Face is always at the at the end of the other one, all all the way at the end of the other one. And some of these colors are pretty similar, but I find the ones that I did get that look a little similar to others are the ones that I use quite often, so I don't really mind. Um, this one is Play, and I've already kind of hit pan on this one. It's really, really pretty. It reminds me of Makeup Geek's um, Chickadee. It's like a really... Oh, man, that is so hard to see. It's kind of... If you know what Makeup Geek... Geek Chickadee looks like. It's kind of like a yellowish, um, light brown, beige color. It's really pretty in the crease. I also put it on the lid and it looks really good. It kind of brightens your eye look up a little bit. Okay, so I'm almost done, I swear. This one's called Animal. And this is a really pretty bright, bright, bright coral color. And you literally barely have to touch this one. I don't know. This thing is freaking like, bam. Let me swatch it up here. Look at that. That's freaking crazy. And it's probably like, based on what I'm looking at, the other ones look true to color, but this one doesn't. I don't know if it's just because the camera can't pick up that much brightness, but it's really, really bright. And then this next one is also from that Rebound collection that the Adios, that um, grayish brown color was. This is a matte reddish coral, so it's very similar to Animal, but it's a little bit deeper in color. So I'll swatch it next to Animal. You can see that. And then I left some of my favorites for the end. And they are all of the shimmers after this one. So the next one is Kappa Feel. And this one I actually have on my brow bone today. It's just a really pretty matte. It's a cream. It's very similar to my skin tone. Um, but it's a little bit lighter. I honestly don't think you guys are going to see that. It's, it's like right here. But it's perfect because when it's your skin tone, it's really, really creamy. It's good to put on the lid or in the brow bone. And then you can smoke everything else out. And it has that really pretty, like, light lid color. So I really like that one. Um, and then I'm pretty sure most of the ones I have left now are shimmers. If I can find room. <laughs> I'll just, like, go this way now, like on this side. So this next one is a maze. I see this all over Instagram. This is like a champagne color. It has a lot of shimmer in it. You can see it's right there. It kind of has a little bit of a... Eh, I, would, I would classify this one as champagne, but um, there's also ones that have a little bit of a rose gold tint, so I'll grab this one, Lala. This one was limited edition, but now it is able to be purchased alone. And this one is definitely more rose gold than the last one I just showed you. See that? That leans a little bit more rose. And since we're with the trend of rose gold, let's go with sequin. This one has to be bandit as well, but this one is my favorite of the shimmery ones. It's really rich. It's like... I wouldn't say a copper penny because it is more rose, but that on the lid is ridiculous. It is so pretty. It really catches a lot of light, so it just bounces off of your eyelids. It makes you look really, really pretty. This one right here is gorgeous, too. This one's Get Lucky. It's like straight up gold. Um, it's kind of similar to Half Baked by, um, by Urban Decay, but like more bam, like way more. So if you guys are hesitating to get these, I would definitely recommend picking some up, especially if there's colors. Like for me, I like a lot of matte shadows, so I did pick up more mattes because they blend really well. But these ones with shimmer, I don't have a lot, so they're a great just like finishing look, like to your look. Just to put that on the lid, it's just like, it completely transforms the way your eyeshadow looks. Okay, here's ones I love this or I heart this, whichever. And this one's kind of like a taupey shimmery. It leans a little silver. Um, it's definitely unique. I really like this a lot. I'm gonna switch it, swatch it before the first one that I did over here. So right here. It does lean a little bit like champagne taupey, but 
it's so pretty on the lid. Especially at night when the light hits it, it just like really reflects like crazy. This one I haven't swatched yet. This one's called One and Done. It's similar to Copperfield, which is more beige. This one leans a little bit more yellow. Some people compared this to Foxy by Urban Decay. So I'll put this by my wrist, which it looks like it's almost my skin color. Like you guys can't see that. So I'm definitely going to use this for the brow bone. And then yay, we made it to the last shadow. This one's called Too Soon. This is the one that I have on my lids right now. It looks like kind of a, similar to MAC motif. It's got like a peachy color with little shimmers in it. Oh, it's so pretty. Like peachy orange kind of. Okay, like I don't even have a finger to do this with. I'm going to bring this way up here. and you can't see it well hopefully you can see my lids a little bit it's on there it's really pretty it's definitely lighter it's kind of like a light peach and it has a slight shimmer to it so it's nothing like extravagant or crazy but it's so pretty and look at these swatches like I'm trying to wipe them off and they're just like they're there they're not coming off so I'm just wiping these off so I can show you the few lippy sticks that I have, which I'm going to go ahead and pause my camera and then I'm going to actually put soap on my arms and wash this off because it's like not wanting to budge and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So, finally got the swatches off of my arms. There's a little bit like still here. You can't really see it though with my lighting. Um, but let's get started with the lippy sticks. So the first one I actually purchased both the lippy pencil and the lippy stick with after looking at reviews and swatches of them. Um, this is in the color wet. The lip pencil I really like just because it's um, very similar to Mac Stone. It's like a brownish taupe gray color. It's really unique, but it's like super, super pretty. I wore this before. But this right here, the actual lippy stick, is kind of sheer, so on its own it didn't give the color that I really liked as much as like with them together. So I did purchase both of them. So there's the pencil and then there's the lippy stick. It's so unique, but it's really, really wearable. It's weird that such a weird color would be so wearable. And the lid just fell off of this one, but this is the other lippy pencil that I purchased, and this is in Lumiere. This is the one that Kathleen Lights um, formulated with ColourPop. I did not pick up the lippy stick in it just simply because I do have the NARS Audacious lipstick in Anna and a lot of people said that the lippy stick was like a dead end dupe for it and this is a slight ColourPop made a lippy stick to go with the or sorry to go with the lippy pencils or the other way around the lippy pencils seem to be like a shade off so that it, it's not the exact shade because most people usually go a little bit darker on the outside to lip their uh, line their lips so I purchased this to use with Anna and then I could also just fill in my lips with it, with it too if I wanted to so that's Lumiere and then what I have left now are just all lippy sticks so let's get into it next is cake I saw this on um, Samantha from Battle Lash and like she could pull off some freaking crazy colors but this is like really really bright coral super light bright coral it's really really pretty um, I put on myself it is a little bright um, but I am fair right now I think that wearing this to the beach or something would be really pretty I don't know like summertime it's very summery and then the next color is a darker coral, which is actually what I have on my lips right now. It leans a little bit pink, but it's definitely coral. And this one's called Rocket. I don't know if I said the last one was called Cake. This one's called Rocket. And this one just glides right on. It's a satin. I seem to like the satin and the mattes the best. But even the glossies are really comfortable, and they last longer than other glossy lipsticks that I've tried. The next color is called Chi Chi, and this is like a really pretty, it looks orange, like, it, I wouldn't say red orange, it's orange, but I don't know how it works, but it, usually orange does not go with my skin tone, but it looks really, really pretty, and I did wear it, I don't know which video it was, but two or three videos ago, I wore it, and I got a lot of compliments on it. So, a next one, the next one is Bound, and it's a glossy, and the reason why I picked this up, it's just a 
like a light beigey pink color. I was trying to find a dupe for MAC Angel. I really, really like MAC Angel and I could go get it because I do get 40% off discount um, from MAC. Um, or I could do like the back to MAC. But the thing that I find with Angel is the lasting power is not long. Like I love the color, but it just doesn't last on me. So I have to keep putting it on. And I was trying to find something that has a similar color, like a dead-on dupe. Um, it's not a dead-on dupe, but it, it's really pretty, the bound color is. It's like a nice, it's not nude. It's got a little bit of pink to it. I mean, it's considered a nude, but it's more pinky than beige. And it looks really pretty with like a bold eye. So... This next color is so sick. It's freaking awesome. If you guys look at my Instagram and go a little bit back, I don't remember how many pictures back, not too long ago, I wore this. It's called Raw, and it is like literally turquoise. And I had this on, and it looks so good. Like, I actually used a, I think it was an eyeliner, like a um, navy eyeliner as a lip liner. And then I blended it though, so I made sure it wasn't just like dark and then this in the center, but I blended it out and it looked really good. I don't know like with like an exact turquoise lip liner if it would look good, but it looks awesome. And then this one's Creature. This is supposed to be a dupe for MAC Sin. It's a really, really pretty burgundy, like deep oxblood color. Um, I have... What do I have? I don't have MAC Media. I don't have Sin. Um, I know the new Maybelline, the matte, creamy matte lipsticks that came out. There was a color called Divine Wine. I really like that, but this one is a lot closer to MAC Sin. It's really, really pretty. And then this is my very last one, which is one of my favorites, and this is called Brills. It is like a lilac, what is it? It's a satin, another one of my favorite formulas. It's like a pretty, pretty lilac purple color, and I did have it in one of my videos recently, and I got a lot of compliments on that. And that is just gorgeous. It's so pretty. Um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the selection that I got. Um, I might want to go back and get Brink, which is kind of the 90s lip it's like that dirty brown lip I've, I've always liked nudes and I like the ones that lean a little bit brown I like um, MAC um, if I can even think of it I love Honey Love that has a little bit of a brown that's probably one of my favorite nudes and then what is the other one called? Um, Blankety. Blankety is really nice. It just doesn't stay on my lips as long as well but that's my entire ColourPop collection it's ridiculous how big it is but it's addicting so if you guys are wondering I know you see it all over YouTube you don't know like who's sponsored or whatever um, but I started out with only ordering five items and I have all of these now and I use them every single day so pick up a couple and um, if you sign up with your email you can get five dollars off and then anything over thirty dollars is free shipping so just do that and like check it out and I really think being $5 each on everything except for the blushes, which are 8 it's really a good deal. And like my entire look today is ColourPop. Like, oh, and I forgot the blush. I have the bonus blush on, which is the one that looks like MAC Peaches. And then my entire eye is all ColourPop. I have Drift, which is the cranberry um, burgundy color. I have Swift, the blush in the crease and then I have the too soon the peachy color on the lid and then my lips are a rocket so entire look did not use a primer it's super comfortable feeling and light and very pigmented but that's it guys until my next video I will talk to you soon bye bye